right from the start, I want you to focus hard and see the obvious. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, it's absurd, if it's obvious, then I already know it. But I found that some of the most difficult things to be made aware of are precisely those that seem to be obvious. And the worst thing is that because we take them for granted, we leave them unchallenged. How we think we think and act is that we perceive, reason, decide and act out our plans. For example, see a cup and a kettle, infer that water can be poured from the kettle to the cup, decide to do it and actually perform correct movements. Simple as that. Also, as we know, we experience emotions that guide us or even compel us to do certain things. We try to build in eyes that would conform to this general picture. An artificial intelligence that in every situation would follow the simple, understandable path. Perceive, reason, decide and act accordingly. An AI working like that will always be seen as very robotic and inhuman. If it has emotion-like responses, they will trigger uncanny feelings in us. Why? Because such a machine doesn't relate to us, and we, in turn, can't relate to it. It doesn't seem to have a rich, subjective experience. Its knowledge would be best compared to that read from an encyclopedia rather than that acquired through interaction with the world. So far what I've said was very vague and you might have already started to lose interest in what I'm saying. Please bear with me for just a second. Turn your attention away from me and towards yourself. How do you relate to this topic, to the way I'm presenting it, to the sound of my voice, my accent? You are taking a specific perspective on all of these factors. You are looking at the screen from a given vantage point, through your own eyes. You came here not with mere knowledge base, but most importantly with expectations, beliefs, ideas on the topic, opinions on what you've read about AI, etc. This shapes your perspective on the topic and on the current video. Perspective that will make way for another one when you will be at school or at work or with friends or your family. So what is perspective exactly? Let's start simple. Picture a house with the doors open. In one scenario there is a tall man standing at the door about to step inside. In the second scenario at the door there is a mouse. In the third scenario a bird is flying over the house. Each creature sees the world differently, from a medium level, where most things are small, from the ground, where everything seems to be huge, and from above, where the inside of the house is not even visible. Visual perspective, therefore, is seeing things from a specific point of view. Things look differently depending on perspective. You already know this, but this is so basic that you don't give it much attention if you are not an artist or a graphic designer. When we move up the complexity scale to the level of human minds and interactions between people, I think we can say that perspective is the way we perceive and interact with the world as somebody in a specific situation. Perspective gives you a frame of reference, it is the map with which you can navigate the social space, it is the dictionary that you use to interpret the world as it unfolds before your eyes. So what you can remark? AI can also have such a perspective programmed in. Yes, it can. But when it has a fairly static perspective, it will feel robotic. It is because a perspective in and of itself is not worth much if you are stuck with one for your entire life. The power comes from our changing perspectives according to circumstances. We all play an uncountable number of roles in our lives. We are students, we are teachers, we are friends, we are lovers. We are seamlessly changing these masks without us even noticing. We adapt to situations and people around us. In one situation a given piece of information is important, but in another it is so irrelevant that it doesn't even come to mind. When you ride your bike or play a game, you are in it 100%. You know the rules, you are focused. The moves come naturally, automatically. But when you are watching a movie or taking care of your kid or younger sibling, the knowledge about the rules of the road or about the mechanics of the game don't register in your awareness. It would be absurd, they are useless in the new context. When you play one role, 
usually only a small part of what you know and who you are becomes active. All the rest is asleep or maybe it's actively suppressed, no matter. We expect other people to take appropriate roles when the circumstances call for it. But how would you see an AI that in every situation behaves in exactly the same way as if it had only one role, the role of the machine? Exactly, you would see it as a machine, no matter how intelligent it would be. Our ability to take various perspectives when needed and play a given role allows us to recognize how other people frame situations. When you enact the role of a student, you immediately recognize the role of the teacher and how she looks at the class. What are her goals? Most likely behaviors and reactions, expectations, etc. You are also bound by the unspoken dynamic between these two roles. These two factors, perspective and roles, are the secret source of our humanity. With them, we can live in a shared reality that is governed by laws and rules understood by all the players. Better yet, they are the prominent tools with which we create those shared realities. Just as when you log in to a game with other players, you log in to a shared reality of, say, a school or a corporation, and everyone acts according to their character, role. If an AI could just as easily step into our shared realities, it could for the first time stand on an equal footing, be understood and be a participant in our social lives. This flexibility of the human mind, the ability to look at the world from a given perspective grounded in a situational context or narrative and as being natural actors playing multiple roles, is what AIs of today are severely lacking in. But these elements are crucial for the development of human-level artificial intelligence. Well, that's just my perspective on the development of AI. And yes, I do know that this is not the best of paths. I'll try to do better in the future. In the meantime, like, sub and hit me on Twitter.